Enter, mortal. Lives such as yours are too short to dally with hesitancy. Know that you stand in the presence of the divine, the true heir to all that surrounds you, and the only one who can stand against the imposter. Hello friends and welcome back to another Remnant 2 video. Today I am showing you how to get this amazing, amazing helmet from the Red Prince. I hope that they do a lot more bosses like this because getting his helmet is so awesome. I'm going to show you guys all the different rewards that you can get from this boss and all the different choices that you can make with the dialogue. You can get two weapon mods and this helmet, so let's dive right in. The first choice you can make, of course, is to just fight him normally. Just pick Pick the cross swords option when you talk to him. It's really that simple saying, I am not your subject. You're going to fight him normally, kill him, and then you're going to get a material to go back to McCabe and craft a weapon mod called Firestorm. Now, this is one of probably the best weapon mods in the game. Maybe not so much if you are playing co-op because it will damage your teammates. It'll also damage you. So make sure you don't put it it directly in a path where you need to go but it is a really really awesome looking mod and it does a lot of damage on to the second option the second way you can kill the red prince is if you are going through Lawsome and you find these red elites so if you go through Lawsome and you find these red elite knights you can kill them and get coins to drop from them and if a coin does drop then you know you definitely have the red prince as your dungeon boss but basically you want to find as many of these guys as you can because you're going to need three coins to give to the red prince as a tribute so kill the red knight elites that you see roaming around and grab the red drop there you'll see we get a new quest item called the crimson king coin now if you have three or more of these coins then you can go to the red prince and offer these to him as a tribute so he's going to give you the same dialogue options as we saw before but this time you're going to say sure here is your tribute you're going to give him the coins you do need three of them so if you don't have three you're not going to have enough to do the tribute and then spoiler alert i'm going to show you guys the cutscene it's actually a really cool cutscene so if you plan on doing this maybe watch it in game i will accept your tribute as one who serves but once you give him the tribute this is what happens it is the law of the fey that i give you this in return and by my law foreigner i also give you this So after you complete that, you are going to get a bloody steel splinter <laughs> that was shoved into your back, basically. And you could take this to McCabe and craft the blood draw weapon mod. This shoots out razor sharp chain shards, which impale up to five targets within 15 meters and they will deal damage on hit. They pull towards you. So it's kind of a way to pull smaller enemies towards you and do damage to them in the process. It's actually a lot of damage, but it's spread equally among the enemies. And it's also a way to apply bleed. So if you're looking for a bleed build, this could be really cool. I did try using it for a bit when we did get it, but it didn't really pull in a lot of enemies. Some enemies just don't get pulled. All right, let's talk about the final way that you can kill the Red Prince and probably the most desired way because I know you guys want this red crown. Basically, you're going to go through the dialogue option to fight him like I showed before. And then as he gets low health, you want to make sure you have the assassin's dagger equipped. If you need a refresher on how to get the assassin's dagger, I have a video on the council chamber and the options for that as well. I'll link it down in the description below. But basically once he gets low health, you're going to want to pull out your daggers and start meleeing him and try to get that final blow to be a melee with the assassin's dagger. So take down your turrets or your summons or anything else that could possibly get the final blow. Once you defeat the Red Prince with the assassin's dagger, you will get the crown of the Red Prince helmet. 
This is a lightweight helmet that has a lot of resistance to fire and a lot of resistance to blight. So it's going to be really good in a lot of situations. However, it does have negative stats for bleed, shock, and corrosive, but it looks so good. I think it could fit in a lot of different builds and it would help you against uh, a lot of the blights that we see in the game. But those are all three ways to complete this dungeon and to complete the Red Prince in Remnant 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.